Every neshama today that makes a connection to the Ebrishter, the connection is through tshuva. There's no such thing as from from birth. And parents who are desperately trying to make their children from, from, from birth are just frustrating themselves and the children. It doesn't work. There's only one way to be a Jew today, and that is by doing tshuva. That and that's... Huh? Was that doing something, like doing something wrong? No. Right. So let me, let me explain it a little bit more. What is, what, is, what, is, what is a Baal Tshuva? A Baal Tshuva is not somebody who lives with deep regrets and is ashamed of their past. And that motivates them to do better. That's just technical. If you sin, that's how you do Tshuva. But who told you to sin in the first place? Tshuva means a certain mentality a certain state of mind. A tzaddik grows day by day because good is good and better is even better. That's the mentality of a tzaddik. The mentality of a Baal Tshuva is I haven't even started yet. When do I get started? When can I start? What happened yesterday? Irrelevant. In both cases, whether yesterday was terrible or yesterday was wonderful, it's irrelevant. That was yesterday. The mental state of a Baal Tshuva is, I just want to start. I haven't started yet. Or like that famous quote, we haven't yet begun to fight. I haven't even begun yet. A Balchuva feels every day that he hasn't even started yet. How many times did the Rebbe say, I haven't accomplished anything. <coughs> everything I tried and everything I did was nothing. How many times did he say that? The first Fabrengen that I decided to listen to, I fought my way in, got myself a place where I could hear, you know what the Rebbe said? It's been 14 years that I'm sitting on this chair. I haven't accomplished anything. I've got nothing to show. Let somebody else sit on this chair. <laughs> I thought, oh my God. <laughs> I finally decided to listen. Too late. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> I don't know why. Every 14 years the Rebbe said that. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, a 14-year cycle of tshuva. <laughs> but basically, what was the Rebbe saying? The Rebbe was saying, like a Baal tshuva, I haven't even started yet. But people thought he was quitting. He wasn't quitting. He was saying, you ain't seen nothing yet. Because I haven't even started. Today, if you don't have tshuva, you don't have Yiddishkeit. And again, tshuva doesn't mean do a sin and then regret it. And there are people who live, so many people who live just... They're, routine. They're, yeah, they're chassidim in a routine way, you know? So their Yiddishkeit is deteriorating, and their children are leaving.